Hey there, what is going on? This is Rob from PantherVision. Today I'm going to show you how to apply colorful metallic effect in Adobe Photoshop. First thing you should do is import the logo or any kind of illustration that you would like to apply the effect or just go to the type tool which is located right here and add some text. In my case I'm going to use one of my logos and of course add another layer. I'm going to drag this layer under the logos layer and I'm going to recolor it. Click on this color and uh, make sure you choose a black. And from here we're going to go to the paint bucket tool, click on the image and as you can see we made the background black. From here I'm going to double click on the logo and go to the color overlay. Click on the color and let's select the gray. I'm going to go down here and make it as a lighter gray. Click OK. Click on the inner shadow. Okay, so let's edit the distance. Uh, let's bring this down and the size, uh, bring it up a little. I'm gonna bring it up to like 50, somewhere around that. If you bring it up too much, it gotta just gonna make it over, overly darker. So we don't want that. You wanna create a nice uh, rounded effect around uh, you know, the vector file. I'm gonna increase the opacity a little more. As you can see, if I increase it to the 80, it's gonna make it even more rounded. It looks like a noodle almost. And now I gotta go to bevel and emboss. Okay, we're gonna bring up the depth to 100%. Size, let me see. So with the size, you can play around. And with the softness, I'm gonna go somewhere around three or two. So it's uh, you know a little bit soft. Actually, zero is pretty good too. Uh, okay, I'm gonna change the gloss. Let me check the gloss control. I'm gonna choose this profile. I saw this on some, some of the videos. I'm gonna bring down the opacity a little bit. There you go. And then click OK. From here, I'm gonna go to the effects. Go to the gradient, click on it, and select uh, the basic right here. And select the basic color black and white basically so you're gonna look like this click ok and bring the angle some around uh, 45 46 click ok and let's select the overlay so we're gonna need to apply this effect only on the letters so not globally but only on the letters and if we apply it on the layer with the logo like this if i press and hold alt and click between the layers they're gonna disappear so i'm gonna go back and i'm gonna need to create a folder which is located right here i did a folder i'm gonna pull the logo inside the folder so as you can see it's in the folder now I'm gonna go back to the effect, press and hold Alt and click between the effect and the folder, between the two layers. So as you can see now uh, it's working and we're gonna apply another gradient which is the gradient map. Do the same thing, press and hold Alt, click between the effects. And here I'm gonna double click on this and I can see the properties from the adjustments layers. I can also reverse it, check it out, it looks even better. I'm gonna click on this gradient and from here you can apply all kinds of colors. Okay, these are kind of basic but uh, you can mix it up really good. So how you do these, so I press on this color, press and hold alt and drag it. As you can see it's gonna copy and paste. Release it and it's still moving like this and I, I'm gonna click it, you know, so, so now it's there, it stays intact. And I'm gonna copy paste all of these. I'm gonna click OK, I'm gonna zoom in a, a little more and there's like some distortions going on which I would like to edit. So I'm gonna go back to the effects here, where's the logo, I'm gonna go back to the bevel and emboss and you know eventually decrease the size or the soften is right now on zero and i gonna look at that i put it on five so it made it more soft i'm gonna increase the see what happens with the 
I think this is good and you also can change the gradients, local gradients. I'm gonna click on this, double click, there you go. And you can change the angle. So yeah, this uh, was kind of it. You can experiment with it, you know, test it out and see what you get. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you're new on the channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified with updates. And go check out the other videos as well. Have a great one, bye bye.